Mr. X with the Extreme Channel. I want to give a shout out to whoever has uh, uh, stayed with me three days in a row. And some of you probably have stayed with me for like 90 days in a row, so I really appreciate that even more. But uh, this is the fifth video of Turtles that we're talking about, Turts. And this is Donatello that we are covering today. And you might notice, hey, Mr. X, why are you wearing the same shirt you wore yesterday? Well, there's a simple answer to that. I spend all my money on statues. I can't afford clothes. Mr. X with the Extreme Channel here with Prime One Studios' Donatello from the new Ninja Turtles movies. Yesterday, I reviewed Leonardo because this is part of a giveaway. So if you're just catching this now, we are giving away all four turtles. And uh, I misspoke. I said that this was one quarter scale. It's not one quarter scale. It is non-scale, meaning it doesn't have a scale, but we're gonna pretend it's one quarter scale, which is about one fourth the size of what it'd be in real life. Although interestingly enough, if you caught the video two days ago, which I've yet to film because we do stuff out of order, uh, we have two turts from the first remake movie and then two turts from the sequel to the remake movie, Out of the Shadows, and they do seem like they're different scales. And the turts from Out of the Shadows are actually quarter scale. So let's jump right in. And I just noticed Michelangelo's uh, skateboard is on here. It should not be. But this is Donatello from the brand new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles made in the 21st century, sometime around 2012-2014. Donatello is a teenager, he is a mutant, he is a ninja, and he is a turtle. And he's known in the group as the smart one, the brainiac. Uh, he's very popular, his weapon of choice is the bow, so basically it's a big stick. And not only is he a brainiac, but he has lots of inventions. So he's very creative and he's the problem solving one of the group and they really nailed that which we'll talk about in concept in design with this new Turtles movies. So this piece right here, Prime One Studios made 1500 of them, that's the ES, ES stands for edition size and they retailed at $749. He was a little bit more than the other ones. This one, when I received him, I had some breakages, which almost everybody does with this piece. Here's some close-ups right here. It's basically all of his belts are, uh, they just don't fit correctly. It's very hard to get them on. So whoever receives this piece will have to use some glue. I use Loctite, that's my best one, and there's a certain material it just doesn't work on, which is kind of a pain in the ass. But so you will have to fix that get over it but uh, again made by Prime One Studios a lot of the stuff we're gonna review is uh, the same similar or same things to the review yesterday so if you did not catch the Leonardo review I highly advise you to pause right now and go back and check it do it do it do it Okay, I don't know if you did it or not. Or do I? Doesn't matter. Um, let's get measurements on uh, Donnie here. Again, very huge base, similar to Leonardo. Gonna be a lot of the same stuff as yesterday. 15 inches deep, I think that was the same, but I don't remember yesterday, even though it was only 30 minutes ago. 19 uh, wide and height. He's about 22, however his bow probably adds on an extra four inches. And his bow moves a little bit if you want it to. You place it in there and you move it, but we're not gonna do it too much because we don't want it to fall out. Just like Leonardo, uh, no switch outs. Uh, everything is uh, comes as it is. There's only one, one uh, type. There's not a collector's or a deluxe or anything like that. And uh, just like Leonardo, again, it's kind of the same review. We should just jump to paint and sculpt because that's really the only thing that's different. I'm debating whether we should do that. Nah, we're not going to do it. Make you watch longer, but you do have the ability to fast forward. Um, 
Yeah, so that's really the background info on this guy. As far as assembly, uh, his backpack is a separate piece. His bow is obviously a separate piece. His glasses are optional. You do not necessarily have to display them. Same with his, uh, not glasses, but um, uh, I don't know what you would call them, microscope glasses on top. Those are different. His uh, bandana comes out at the back. And then these plates right here, they also go in. I think that's all the, yeah, his hands are one piece. So a little bit different. And I believe both him and Leonardo came in two boxes, actually. I didn't talk about that yesterday. I do have them ready to be boxed up for whoever wins this contest. But let's jump into the uh, concept and design. And really, there's only going to be two differences, one with the concept and one with the design that we didn't talk about yesterday. So let's go ahead and here he goes. So just like Leonardo, he's sitting on a New York City base, but instead of a sewer, he actually has a grate on the back of it, or the front of it, depending on how you want to display it. But a lot of the same similarities we're going to see in Paint and Sculpt, which we're going to go over very quickly. But he's sitting there, and this is borderline a dynamic pose, an action pose. He's obviously just like Leonardo, getting ready to fight. He has his bow, and uh, he's decked out in very similar clothes. It's kind of a hodgepodge of ninja and samurai clothes but he has all this tech gear as well. So he actually has a, um, a power bar or whatever you want to call it, uh, that he, he has different things plugged into, different parts of his outfit, whether it's his intercom or his microphone he's using. He, it looks like he has a Ghostbusters backpack on the back, uh, which you can't see in the scroll up right now. And I do like the fact they added a little bit more expression to his face that Leonardo did not have. Now the big design issue I'm going to say was with the broken piece. As soon as I got him broken, I, bought, I remember buying him second hand so there was really nothing I could do about it. I didn't want to screw the guy, it's not his fault at broken shipping, I mean it probably is, but um, I just, I don't go after people like that. And uh, with that being said, I think they designed it in a way where these leather pouches and belts aren't fully up against his body, so they're surely going to break in shipping just the way things rattle. So I think that's a huge design issue, um, which sometimes it's hindsight, meaning, well, they found out after the fact, what the hell are they going to do now? Is what it is. So that's something you do have to uh, uh, deal with with this guy. Thankfully, when I ship it, it really can't break anymore. So congratulations on that. Let's jump into the paint and sculpt. Some of the stuff that's very similar to Leonardo, again, I'm gonna go over quickly. And the next two days are actually out of the shadows turtles, so they will be different. So we'll go a little bit slower. I'm saying so a lot again. But uh, starting at the base here, same things going on as yesterday. They have this underlayment base that's kind of a mud and rock. One difference is they did add some of that water effect on the underlayment base. But again, it's fantastically done, looks really good. And then on the top here, again, that water effect looks awesome and it's kind of draining into the grate, which is cool. And they have this huge grate on the side, just like uh, instead of the manhole cover. One of the things I didn't po point out, they do have a sewer line sticking out of the, the front or back or left side or whatever you want to call it. And they have this giant uh, ledge. I don't know the purpose of this. This is more uh, con concept and design. Kind of interesting. Then moving quickly on to Donnie here. So he has different boots than Leo had, which I like that they mix it up. So not as samurai, he didn't have the sandals. These are kind of uh, uh, leather boots with straps and it's black with some dirt wear in there. I like that they added the dirt. On his uh, left boot here, it's actually torn and you can see his toe on the front and he has a lot of those um, rags and straps that we talked uh, a lot about with Leo. And then also on his left uh, boot, it's strapped up all the way to his knee pads. He has these leather straps on top of his skin. And his skin is, is very different than Leo's, which is interesting. Not as reptilian, a lot more smooth, not a lot of black dots. But these knee pads look great. Nice leather color on the front and the straps on the back. 
And then all over his thighs, he has those rags, these mummy-like rags. And I, I still don't understand what these are or why they're there, but they look fantastic. The coloring, the texture, really well done. And he has these metallic plates where Leo had uh, leather and cloth plates, both on his front. Really good protection for his package with some blue and some almost bamboo type looking stuff. And then also they're on the outer side of his thighs. A little bit different design. Looks really cool. And like Leo, he kind of has a dress. It's this leather dress on the back. He, it looks like he almost has an iPad. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. That's kind of funny. Helps uh, with that high tech aspect of him. And again, another one of those plates on his back. But the leather dress looks fantastic. I like the flow of it. I like the coloring. And then we'll, we'll move up to his shell. I don't like his shell as much as I did uh, Leo's. But it's decent. Has some of that same coloring and some of that same water effect. But then he has this giant Ghostbusters backpack. And I'll have to rewatch the movie because I don't remember exactly what this was for. Kind of neat. All these different circuits and gadgets on it. And then with his leather strap that's broken here, uh, you see some pouches on the right side. And I believe there's some on the left side, but I left those in the box so you actually see where it's broken here. And another iPad it looks like on the front. And then checking out his torso, again these straps, they more pouches, they look great other than the fact they're broken. You see his torso where you didn't see it with Leo, so there's this glistening effect. Kind of neat. And then on the straps at the top, you see the power bar I was talking about where he has all of his gadgets plugged into. Kind of different. They didn't uh, add a lot of purple to this statue like they did with the blue with Leonardo. But there is purple on one of his shoulders. Again, it's kind of one of those rags with uh, dyed, dyed purple for whatever reason. Where the other uh, shoulder is a metallic samurai-like shoulder pad, a red one. Almost looks like something should be on RAF. And it has this uh, strap to it. But let's take a look at his skin color where we can see it. You see a little more of the bumpy scaly skin on his right arm, but you don't see much on his torso or his other arm. And you get a fantastic shot of his hands, which we didn't see with Leo. Again, these three-fingered hands, they look great. Great sculpt, great color. You see the nails on them. Then really quick, here's some shots of his bow. The tips, the middle. Looks really cool. Again, a very bamboo-like effect. Then let's move to Donnie's portrait here. First, tons going on. Uh, he has a headset, like a walkie-talkie on the side, which is uh, very movie accurate. So all these wires and circuits running off of that. And headphones. And then kind of the magnifying goggles, what I call them on the top, the microscope goggles. Have this glistening effect when you're looking at the lenses. Very cool. His glasses, which are optional, you can see they were uh, put back together. And this is all over his... Um, uh, the glasses, like I said, they're optional, so below it you can see just his leather mask there. He doesn't look as cool. His eyes are much smaller. I'm more of a fan of uh, him with his glasses 100%. And one of the interesting things I forgot to talk about in design... Uh, the hell was that? Well, it looks like there's another broken part. But his eyes, you can actually move. So there's a, um, when you take off his head, I forgot about that, you can actually move his eyes back and forth to uh, whatever direction you want, which to me, that's, that's weird. It's, a, it's not needed. So I think that it was almost a little too ambitious. What the hell is this piece? So if you're winning this one, uh, for the record, this is the most broke one. There's just another tiny part on Mikey. But uh, yeah, so let's go back to his portrait here. Again, fantastic job on his mask, the different layers. It looks old, looks cut up. 
And then his uh, nose doesn't really have a defined nose. And his lips are a little bit more open, so you almost see some teeth, where on Leo, as you guys know, is completely different. And the other thing I uh, forgot to tell you guys, so it's kind of optional if you want to display this or not. It does leave a hole in his head, but if it's too much for you, just kind, kind of nice to have that option. What the hell does this go to? I don't know, but we'll make sure to put it with everything. And, yeah, so... Kind of some uh, things falling everywhere. Good thing this is my last review for today. Uh, so kind of some interesting engineering going on with this guy. Uh, it's, it's, it's been so long since I put him together, I actually totally forgot about all this stuff. I'll figure that out later. But uh, excellent piece. I like Leonardo a lot better. Um, I like the concept, Donnie, a lot better with all the high-tech stuff, but I like the execution of Leonardo a lot better, and it's not just because of the broken stuff. So we're two days in. Uh, go ahead and let me know which is your favorite of the two. Um, yeah. Kind of an interesting uh, piece. This was kind of a weird review. You know... My mother always called me weird growing up, so maybe that's why I have some childhood issues. But anyway, let me know your thoughts on this guy. Let me know which of the two you like better so far. And uh, I look forward to tomorrow. We're either going to do Mikey or Raph. I'm not sure at this point. But uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe so you can get details on the giveaway of this piece and uh, the other three turrets as well. And also give me a like and a comment to help the visibility of this. I would appreciate it. Dislikes also help me too, so do that. Take care.